Now, in terms of the Medicaid expansion, mm -hmm. um, obviously the waiver is in the federal government's hands yep. at this point. Right. But if they were to not approve it, mm -hmm. um, will the state legislature have anything to say about that? It's kind of Governor Bevin's decision what happens next, right. but will we have to revisit that issue? I, you know, we, we tried to bring that for a floor debate last year in the Senate, and I actually made the motion to bring it, you know, to kind of suspend the rules and just bring it for the floor for us. And, and, and unfortunately, we didn't have enough votes to carry it through. Um, I know a lot of the Senate uh, Democratic members of the committee abstained, didn't vote on it at all, so they kept quiet. So we had an opportunity to push it through for a floor debate last year. It didn't get there. Um, what we've got now is it's all in the hands of a governor. It's one person kind of controlling this. And um, he's put it forward. If the feds uh, totally reject it, I, I, don't, I don't know what the governor will do. I can't speak for him, but I would imagine he ran on an issue saying we can't afford the expansion. I think his waiver is going to make it more affordable. We can have some aspect of it still in place and moving forward. I think it'll actually work well if we can do it. But if the feds don't negotiate um, something with the, with the state, you know, with the executive office and, and get that done, um, you may see the whole thing go away. So I, I'm hopeful that the federal government will work with our, our state, get some aspect of it. If they're not going to allow some, they're going to allow others. Um, I think it'll help save the expansion if it can happen. If it doesn't, I'm fearful it'll go away. So, but we'll see. I, I, the legislature tried to act on it last year. I don't know if our leadership might, I don't know what they're gonna say. They might say, well, we've already tried to push that through. It wasn't, didn't have enough support to make it there. Uh, and they may just put it as a back burner issue. I don't know. Um, but that's, that's where it's at right now. I think it's, on, it's in the hands of the federal government. So if they approve it, I think we have a good chance of, of seeing it you know, sustain itself and, and stay alive in Kentucky.